Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you how to hook up the super bright LED lights that go in the ceiling. Okay, so on the back side of these super bright LED panels, you take this little cover off. It's got a Phillips screw. Inside here, you get this bag. It's got wire nuts and two little extenders. So you're going to put the extenders in here. If you want to do zero to 10 volt dimming, you're going to put the wires right here but I've got a remote control that's gonna to talk to it so I won't have to run the dimming wires to it. So it says it's got 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so now to put the wire in there, you're gonna push that button. Push that button and then the wire will go in and it's held in there with like a spring, like friction. And there's what it looks like. Okay, so now we're gonna take one of these out and we've gotta put a wire clamp there. So you can put one of these plastic ones, it says this end inside the box, you can snap that in, and then that'll clamp the wire in the middle, or you can use one of these. It's got a little nut on the outside, and put it, or put the nut on the inside. Okay, so I bought these pre, these wire harnesses that have the open end on them that you can just plug in, and that's how I connected my wires. I run the clamp through, make sure the screws are going this way and not into the panel. And I use the wire nuts that came with the unit are actually really good wire nuts. Now, if I wanted to run in my own dimming wires, I would, they're stripped too much. I'd strip them a little bit less. But then you would put them into those terminal strips right there. Dim plus and dim minus. And that's the type of wire you would need. This is 18 gauge. Okay, so I've got four of these installed in my ceiling. I put a receptacle above my false ceiling. So I wired this receptacle to turn on and off with a switch, and I'm gonna plug them all into this. Okay, so now they're all installed. Let's just turn the switch on. Yeah, this does, this gives a lot of light off. Very, very impressive with these lights. Okay, so I've got the big lights installed. I've got the remote paired, and now I can turn them on and off with the remote. I really do like this remote. And I can go right to 25%, 50%. I can change the temperature of the light really quick. And then I can change it all the way in there. I could even group these. I could put two of the lights on one group and two of the other lights or one light on one group. I've got to group them. Okay, so here's the instruction manual that comes with that. And pairing them was really easy. You just got to be able to unplug them and plug them back in. Okay, so the way when you first get these lights you gotta do the ID button. So right here, this button right here, you're gonna, you're gonna unplug the light or turn the switch off, hold this ID button down, and then you're gonna turn the lights on. The ID button will flash, the lights are gonna flash, matching code complete. So it was very, very easy. You're gonna notice it, turn the lights off, hold the ID button, turn your lights on or plug them in, and then the lights are gonna to flash to let you know that they are now being controlled with this. And then again, you can put it in groupings. And grouping is very simple. You're just gonna hold down the one button for whatever you want one to be. Hold it down, plug just those lights in, and then they're gonna flash, and then that'll be group one. Now here are all the instructions. It talks about the save button. I'm just very happy with these panel lights. I love being able to turn them on and off and then just go right to a certain brightness. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching. 